Good morning, children, and hello to everyone. Mrs. Pallavi Doshi, that is myself, is here to have some fun and learning with all my dear children. I am so excited and happy, and I am very happy to welcome you all. So, how are you today? Wiggle your fingers and show me. Yes, that you are fine and healthy. Very nice. So, I have a welcome song for all of you, and let's sing uh, the song together. So, are you ready? Yes, Zuzu is also ready. W, a letter which is warm, warm, warm. E for the energetic song. L, the love we have for you. C, collected from us all. O, how wonderful of you. M, for many things we do. E, enjoy yourself, do. That is welcome from PJK and all. So, welcome to the day 10. Well, welcome to the day 10 and let's start with today's session. There is a special skill of the day. Uh, what you have to do today, you have to put the toys back in its place. So, this is the special skill of the day. So, when you take out your toys, Okay, after playing, you just keep it like that only scattered everywhere in the room. So now from today onwards, what you all have to do, you have to keep back your toys in its right place. Okay, and which song you are going to sing while doing so? Yes, tell me, clean up song. That's right. Yes. So let's go for the next one. Yes, E, everything to do with day, date and month of the year. And this month is A-U-G-U-S-T. August, that's right. And the year is 2020. The days are 31 days in August month. So the weather for the day, see outside the window and tell your parents that is it sunny, rainy, stormy, cloudy, windy, whatever it is. And uh, now we are going to recite the days of the uh, week with, uh, with Zuzu. Yes. And Zuzu is going to recite it. Come on, let's start. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very nice. And now recite the day, months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Very nice children. So let's go for the national bird and national animal. So the national bird is, yes, Peacock, national animal is tiger, national flower is lotus, national fruit is mango and national tree is banyan tree. That's correct. So today we are going to know something about different types of plants that is unusual plants. And you know the story of Rahul planting the seeds in the pot and watering the plants daily. He's doing it daily and putting in the sunlight. So that story we know uh, uh, know up till now and now Raul is here to tell you the uh, uh, different types of um, unusual plants he's going to give you the information related to it so let's begin so Rahul was very excited it was the first day of his vacation and his mother had told uh, that there was a wonderful surprise in the store for him so what was the surprise The surprise was the CD which she had kept uh, in the storeroom and Rahul brought the CD outside and saw uh, played the CD okay and what what did the CD say Rahul's mother kept the word the next day she explained Rahul about some plants in the uh, uh, that were unusual so that uh, explanation was given the CD and she explained uh, Rahul regarding it thoroughly so let's begin with it. The first one was different types of plants. Uh, it was a desert plant. So what information she gave? Let's see now. So this was in the CD, desert plants. You can observe the plants now carefully. And I, I'm going to tell you the information related to it. Whatever things Rahul's mother told, that information I'm going to tell you. There are some very unusual kinds of plants like those found in the desert they have adapted to their environment and have the ability to store water and also use it efficiently 
So plants like cacti have dense flesh which can store large amounts of water. They also have spikes and spines to protect them from being eaten by animals. They have thorns and that's why the animals, wild animals cannot eat them. Uh, so the next one you can see on the screen are air plants. Epiphytes are plants that depend on other plants for support, growing on their trunks and branches. They are also called air plants. Mosses and orchids are epiphytic plants. Okay, so the next one you can see on the screen is carnivorous plants. Carnivorous plants usually grow in marshlands and areas where the soil is not rich in nutrients. They eat insects and other small creatures in order to get adequate nutrition. So they depend on other animals. Okay, so the next one aquatic plants. These Plants grow in presence of abundant water. They have a lot of adaptations that enable them to survive in water. For example, the stems are very supple and bend easily with the flow of the water. The leaves have a thick waxy coating to prevent water from collecting. Floating plants are also very bio, uh, buoyant. That is, they are able to float on the water surface. So this was information. And what types of unusual plants you saw? The desert plants, which grow in the deserts and have the thorns on them. The air plants, okay. Air plants mm, are plants that depend on other uh, plants for support, okay. Growing on their trunks and the branches. The next one is carnivorous plants, which eat the other, uh, other uh, they eat insects and small creatures, okay. And the next one is the aquatic plants. These plants grow in presence of abundant water. Okay, so inside the water uh, they grow. So sometimes they float on the water surface also. Yes, so this was all about um, unusual plants. So let's go all for the uh, next one. Today we are going to children, we are going to learn missing numbers today. Okay, so uh, first we will do the recitation of the numbers from 0 to 100. So let's begin. Yes, for zero, what we do? Zero, yes, and then we start with a one, two, yes, numbers, and for three, four, five, we are going to snap our fingers. Come on. For first two numbers, we are going to clap, and for the next three numbers, we are going to snap. Yes, let's begin. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 60, 62, 97, 98, 99, 100. I can count the numbers. Will you count them with me? Assurance. Yes, so now we are going to do the missing numbers. Okay. You can see the stencils on the screen and you have to fill the gaps. The lines you can see on the screen. See these lines. So you have to uh, place the stencils. Okay. Uh, on the screen. Okay. Then missing stencils. Okay. So let's start. So these are the two stencils. One ten stencil has, okay, one stencil has 10 numbers. That means there are two stencils here. 10 numbers with one stencil, the other 10 number with, yes, second stencil. So two stencils means the number is 2020. That's right. So there will be here how many stencils now? Two stencils and for 21, one single, yes, stencil, yes. One single digit stencil. So 21. Here, let's see now. 
two stencils with 10 numbers and one uh, digit stencil with one number. Yes, that's right. 21 it is. The next one we will do two stencils. That means 20 and single digits are two. So 22. Now the missing number is 22. After 22 comes 23. So two stencils of yes 10 digits okay and the three number stencil it will be is it correct two stencils of yes 10 digit number one stencil and two stencil and then three digit stencil it is that means it is 23 the next one we will do it yes after 23 it is 24 so one 10 digit two 10 digit that means it is 20 and the four digit stencil one two three four that means 20 and it is 4 24 that's right so these are the miss uh, these are the picture uh, number cards sorry these are the number cards and the first number given here is 4646 so say the number with me 4646 so here which card it will be 4747 that's correct next number is 4848 and the missing number is 4949 the next number is 5050. That's correct. So here you can see the number 7878. So the next number is 7979. The next number is also missing 8080. The next number is 8181. And the missing number is 8282. The next number 8383 is given. So very nice children. So, this is the number missing, uh, numeracy missing numbers chart, okay. So, first when you get this, you have to write the date here, display the date and write the missing numbers, okay. This is the instruction given on the top of it. So, what you all have to see for see the observe the uh, worksheet first. So, how it is given? It is given the horizontally or it is given vertically. See the numbers. So, I'm going to read it for you. One, two, three. And that means we have to write in this way. Okay, in this way. So, 1, 2, 3 and the number missing is 4. That's right. The next one is 5, 6 and the number missing is 7. The next number is 8. It is also missing 9 and 10. So, write it correctly. Children, the missing numbers. Okay, the next one we will do. 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. That's right. So next number is 21, 22, 23, 24. And the missing number is 25, 26, 27. After 27, which number comes? 28. So this way you have to complete the worksheet and then submit it to me. That's right. So let's go for the next one. And today we are going to listen to the story of Goldilocks and the three COVID smart bears. And children get ready. You can see the three bears. The papa bear, the mama bear and the baby bear. And these three bears are giving some messages. So this is the Goldilocks, okay, the girl. And the messages is, uh, are given to her, okay. So the papa bear says, I maintain physical distancing in this covid period 19 period covid 19 period mama bear says i sneeze in the fold of my elbow Achy. yes like this and i wash my hands with the help of soap for 20 seconds is the message given by the baby bear so you want to meet all these three yes three bears yes so this is the papa bear this is the mommy bear and the third one bear yes here the bear is the baby bear, papa bear, mama bear and yes baby bear. So also you uh, Goldilocks has come to meet you. See the Goldilocks. She is so beautiful. Yes. So children you want to listen to the story? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Very nice. So let's begin the story. Now see the picture. You can see Goldilocks and what she is. Saying, let's begin with the story.
So let's start children. When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears, oh, what did her two eyes see? Yes, a bowl that was huge, a bowl that was small, a bowl that was tiny and that was all she counted them. One, two and three. Yes. Now what happened? When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears, oh, what did her two eyes see? A chair that was huge, a chair that was small and a chair that was tiny. That was all she counted. One, two, three. You can see the three chairs. When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears, okay, a, she saw three beds. A bed that was huge, a bed that was small and a bed that was tiny and that was all she counted. One, just a moment. And that was she counted one, two and three. When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears, oh, what did she see? Her two eyes see a bear that was huge, a bear that was small and that was tiny and that was all she counted. No, she screamed and ran away. What happened? Oh, she was sorry for something. Well, the Goldilocks realized that she had destroyed a lot of things in the bear's house. So she felt bad and decided to go back and say sorry. She went to the bear's house and knocked on the door. Knock, 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 knock. Papa bear. Papa bear. Hmm? Papa bear opened the door and seeing Goldilocks, he growled. You again? Are you here to destroy more things in our house? Yes. Now, what did Goldilocks say? No, said Goldilocks. I'm here to say sorry. Please, may I come in and say sorry to all of you? Let's see the next picture now. Papa Bear let her in and this time she asked the permission before sitting on any chair. Papa Bear was making some fresh porridge and Goldilocks started helping Papa Bear in the kitchen. Papa Bear invited Goldilocks to the dining table to eat some porridge with them. Let's see the next picture now. Yes, are you observing? Goldilocks sat on the chair, kept for her and picked up her spoon. No, said pa Baby Bear. Now, what did Baby Bear say? No, said Baby Bear. Have you washed your hands? Please wash your hands before you eat or touch your face. So what we all have to do, we have to wash our hands before we eat or before we touch our body parts, okay, the face, okay, uh, specifically our face. Uh, face. So, so what happened? Yes, said Mama Bear. It's always, it's always, it's, yes, see the Mama Bear? Have you washed your face and yes, Mama Bear said it's always better to wash your hands and especially uh, these days with the COVID virus around us. Yeah. Goldilocks went with Baby Bear to wash her hands and Baby Bear started singing the happy birthday song while washing his hands. Goldilocks was surprised and asked, Is it your birthday today? No, smiled Baby Bear. You have to wash your hands for 20 seconds. And so, while washing my hands, I sing the happy birthday song as it is 20 seconds long. Now you can see how Baby Bear and Goldilocks is washing. Both of them are washing their hands. Yes, and what happens? You can see the physical distancing they are maintaining. How they are standing? They are stand, standing, keeping the 
distance, isn't it? They are not standing close to each other. So they both sang the song, scrubbed their hands clean and then sat on the chair and pick up their spoon to eat the porridge. Mmm, it was delicious. She helped Papa Bear clear the table and wash the dishes. Isn't it? You can see the picture here. Yes, let's go for the next one. Goldilocks then joined Baby Bear in the bedroom. He was making his bed. You can see now this one. The one that Goldilocks had left all rumpled. Goldilocks stood near next to Baby Bear and started helping him. No, said Baby Bear. Don't stand so close to me. Now what did Baby Bear say? Don't stand so close to me. Keep some distance and please maintain physical distance. Goldilocks asked, how do I know the right distance? Yes, go for the next picture. Baby Bear said, lift your arms straight up and flap them like a bird. And if your hands touch someone, then you are not far enough. So Goldilocks fl flap her hand and maintain physical distance and help baby bear make his bed. Yes, let's go for the next picture now. Goldilocks could hear some hammering. It was mama bear repairing baby bear's chair, the one that Goldilocks had broken. Goldilocks asked Mama Bear if she can help her. Mama Bear said, where is Mama Bear? Mama Bear, if she can help her, Mama Bear said, yes, hand, hand me that nail box. You can see the nail box here. Mama Bear sneezed in the fold of her arm, a chi. You can see here. Now, Goldilocks was very surprised and Goldilocks found it funny. She asked Mama Bear, why didn't you sneeze in your hands? Why in the fold of your elbow? Well, said Mama Bear, I did not have a tissue handy. And if I had sneezed in my hands, then I would need to wash them and would end up touching the tap or other items with the same hands. So when you don't have a tissue is, next, is best to sneeze or cough in the fold of your elbow. Goldilocks practiced sneezing and coughing in the fold of her elbow. Okay. So children, Goldilocks, now the porridge was eaten, the chair was repaired and the bed was made. It was a time for Goldilocks to head home. She thanked the three bears for for teaching her how to maintain the physical distance, how to wash her hands, how to sneeze and cough in the fold of her elbow. Thank you bears for teaching me to be safe and healthy. You are indeed COVID smart bears, said Goldilocks. Said Goldilocks, she waved them goodbye, apologized once again, thanked them and went her merry way home to teach her parents about the three COVID safety 